Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I want to bring to your attention another great Jay-Z brain product. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing to your attention the Electric HVLP, which stands for High Volume Low Pressure Spray Gun. Uh, this is a nice electric spray paint gun. Um, after playing around with this for a little while, I just wanted to bring to your attention some of the information from the box, and then I'll show you the actual product and some of the neat little features that it has that are um, that this uh, particular item has associated with it. Um, so real quick on the box, you'll notice right away you got three different spray patterns. Uh, you can turn the nozzle to make a uh, horizontal, vertical, or a circular spray. Uh, depending on what kind of spray pattern you're looking for, that's going to benefit you. Uh, in particular, the circle pattern is really nice because that helps you with your um, like your corners and those hard to reach areas. Um, also, it has a um, 900 milliliter capacity, you know, storage liquid container. Um, it has a 3 amp motor, 120 volt. It has uh, 30,000 RPMs. Uh, its power rate is uh, 450 watts, and it has a max flow rate of 830 milliliters per minute. So those are the real quick things I wanted to let you know about just from the packaging. Um, it does come with three different nozzles, which will help you in uh, you know the coverage area that you're looking to get when you're with your particular painting um, project and the three different nozzles are 1.5 millimeters 1.8 millimeters and 2.5 millimeters and I'm actually gonna if you at the back end of this video I'll do a real quick demo I'll show you how it looks and how it delivers and how it covers um, using just a regular um, water-based paint uh, this is recommended to be used with either water-based or um, oil-based uh, paints um, and it does come with a viscosity measuring cup which will help you uh, find the desired uh, consistency of paint so that way it'll flow the way it's supposed to through the uh, particular paint machine. Um, a lot of paint machines uh, you'll have a hard time if you don't have the right consistency and it's nice that this company uh, Jay-Z Brain throws in a uh, viscosity measuring cup to make sure that you're getting the proper um, viscosity with your with your particular paint. I did find out from various source, sources as well as um, the instructions in this uh, with this product that uh, there's different ways to thin different types of paints. Um, I only have a small project that I'm going to be doing so I have a quart of paint and like I said, it's a latex based paint. So the amount that you're going to dilute it, if I have to, according to what the viscosity measuring cup tells me, um, I've actually calculated out and found out that I would only have to really add like two tablespoons of water uh, to a quart to get the desired thinning uh, viscosity. That's if it doesn't already meet the um, required viscosity uh, beforehand. But I'll do that in this video before I do the paint demo just to show you how to use the viscosity cup and then uh, show you the demo. So here you see your, your real big uh, 900 milliliter container that just unscrews and then inside you're going to have, this is your uh, thing that it's going to suck up the paint in and this will come off too so which is really nice for easy washing and plus two things to note that when you're painting um, it doesn't matter too much when it's level like this but if you're painting in an upward stance you're going to want this angled towards the back that way it's constantly reaching the bottom of your 900 milliliter capacity container if you're going to be painting more in a downward angle you're going to want to make sure that's on in this position so that way again you're reaching down into the bottom of your container to be able to get the maximum amount of paint out of the particular container uh, so that way you're not filling it up more often than you need to if you look on the handle here it's got this nice little nice little feature here that you can adjust and what that does is it allows you to control the amount of flow that you're getting and as you see as I pull it back it touches the handle now I can adjust that and make it so it comes out farther and then it'll make it so that it's not spraying out as much so it's really nice you get a lot of flow control with this particular handle and design as you see right there and again you don't need to use that you can have it screwed in all the way and then you're gonna get your maximum flow and there you go that's in all the way and when, as you see when I squeeze it it doesn't touch the handle so that's full open maximum spray um, right there's the front that I was talking about when you unscrew it like right now it's set that's set for horizontal you're just gonna want to loosen this and turn that that'll be vertical and then once you get that to the desired area that you want like I personally want it in this position you're just gonna tighten your cap on it might have a tendency to turn a little bit as you tighten it so what you're going to want to do is you're going to back it up a little bit farther than you want and then tighten it and then it'll line up and tighten into the position you want 
Um, real nice, this comes off for cleaning abilities. So that way you can thoroughly clean your machine out. It just has a screw off the back and then it screws off and then you can get right into there and make sure that everything's cleaned out. Now you, you should never have any paint in this particular receptacle. Uh, this is just where your airflow is going to be coming from. And with that in mind, you should never tilt your device more than 45 degrees. Because once you have your container full, if you tip it back more than 45 degrees, there's a tendency that that paint might slowly seep back inside of there. And you don't want to do that because it's going to end up damaging your device. So to put that back on, you're just simply going to screw this mechanism back on there until it stops screwing and then you know you're, you're seated well. Um, on the back here, you have a, um, this is where the airflow is going to be sucked in and this also unscrews and we unscrew that. You'll see it's got a, right, a nice uh, filter on the back so that way it prevents any impurities and dust and stuff like that from coming into your device and, and you know jamming it up. Uh, for, periodically you might want to check this to make sure if um, there is any dust in it to help make sure that it's maintaining a nice even flow of air. And then on top you have your on and off switch. Real simple toggle switch and it's all like sealed and encased in like it almost looks like a, like a waterproof design case there like the way it's sealed in underneath the plastic um, it is that soft plastic um, but that's it and then it's got a pretty good sized cord I didn't see in the directions how long the cord is if I had to guess I'd say it's probably about a six maybe a five to six foot cord um, you know it's dangling down here uh, and it is your you know your standard two prong plug so real quick before I get to the viscosity cup I uh, just wanted to show you uh, a little package that you get with it uh, it comes with your instruction manual um, I like to keep my instruction manuals in the plastic. I put them in the final cabinet where I have my appliances and stuff like that. That way all my instructions are kind of like organized in a nice even area. And then as I get rid of them, I tend to go through the final cabinet and pull those instructions out. So that way I, I'm not keeping, you know, instructions I don't need no more. Uh, so you're going to want to use this to help clean out the nozzles. Uh, not the spray nozzle, but the actual nozzle that goes into the um, container, the 900 milliliter capacity uh, storage container. container. So that's a nice brush to be able to help clean out that when you're washing it. Then you're also going to get this little, this would be the nozzle cleaner to help clean out the nozzles and entranceway of your sprayer. And then, like I said, you're going to get three different tips with different sizes. And uh, these are the other two you're going to get. As you see, the little brass um, fittings threaded and then each side, each end has, you kind of see that flat spot there and there's a flat spot here and they send this little wrench so that way you can tighten it on and loosen it, you know, when you take your other one off and, and you know, exchange it out with one of these. And just overall, I think it's a really great item. I, um, we're going to put this to the test for you, show you a little demo of the viscosity cup and show you a real quick demo on some uh, spray paint and uh, let you decide if this item's right for you or not. So here we have our viscosity tool. Uh, I saved it. Uh, showing it to you until this moment here just to kind of let you see what it looks like um so what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with paint i'm going to plug the hole on the bottom uh sort of like this over top of you know a can I recommend using a can or you know an empty uh butter container or something like that hold your finger over the hole on the bottom uh fill it up and then uh using a timer on my cell phone here i'm gonna uh time it and as it's recommended by the instructions uh, for water-based paint, uh, it should take 20 to 45 seconds to drain out. And if I was using solvent-based or oil-based paints, it should take 45 to 50 seconds to run out. So, real quick, I'm going to try to do this craftily with two hands. It would be better if I had three. Uh, but here's uh, my, my small can of uh, paint. I'm going to hold it with my finger, my pinky, plugging up the hole on the bottom. And we're going to fill this up. Oh, I spilled a little bit extra in there, but that's right. That's why you want a container underneath it. But see, I got my finger plug in the bottom. I'm going to wait till that little bit of excess drains off. And then here we got our stopwatch. As soon as I let my pinky off, I'm going to push the start button. Move that out of the way so you can see it. I can tell already that I'm not going to meet the time, so I'm going to have to dilute this a little bit and then try the viscosity cup again. Um, and then I would keep going using that same routine until I reach the desired, um, you know, uh, uh, speed for viscosity. Uh, right now I'm at 40 seconds and it's probably almost a third of the way down. 
So I'm just gonna stop this now and uh, dilute my mixture a little bit and uh, we'll try again. Okay, just for the sake of time, I, I, uh, I had to dilute this several times, uh, trying to get that right viscosity. Uh, this is actually my uh, fourth step. Each time I added two to three tablespoons to try to dilute this to the recommended amount. Uh, it's still not quite there. Hopefully this will be the last time. Uh, let me just fill up the cup here. And I can see visually it is a lot thinner. You know, we want to get it the right viscosity, you know, because we don't want it clogging up our, our sprayer. So, um, you know, we want to make sure we get it right. Uh, so it's it's worth a little bit of uh, trial and error getting the right consistency here than, you know, you know destroying your equipment. So it's uh, best to uh, take your time and get your mixture right. And then once you got it down, you'll pretty much know how to do it for all future uh, batches that you'll be doing. So uh, here we go. Yeah, I think we got the magic number now. Let's see if I get that out of the camera there. Yeah, we're at 15 seconds now, and it's about empty. Or halfway empty, rather. Thirty, and it's just now getting to the bottom where it starts to angle so right there is about 45 seconds uh, and it really is right at the end of the container yeah there's a little bit in the bottom uh, I'm just gonna let the rest of this drain out here uh, I think I'm, I'm happy with the desired viscosity of this and uh, we're gonna clean up the countertop before my wife sees the mess I've made here. And uh, then we'll actually put this to application, put it in the uh, actual um, paint storage unit on the sprayer and we'll see what we can paint. So as you can see, that was a nice quick demo on how to, to uh, use a spray paint gun. Um, it was a really small project I was doing, painting a couple picture frames, turning them from black to white. And um, I learned a few things because I don't have a lot of experience with paint sprayers, uh, but I did definitely learn a few things from this. And it actually gave me a little bit, a little bit of experience. I'm not necessarily ready to paint an entire house, but I have no problem doing little projects around the house. 
and you definitely want to pay attention to the viscosity cup um, I did try it without um, you know really using this first to see what the result would be and it really made it you know sort of splattered and and didn't uh, perform as well as it could have um, or as well as it did rather as when I did use the viscosity cup and then diluted my uh, paint or thinned it rather to uh, make it the right viscosity so that's a really big number one thing you got to pay attention to and number two when I first tried to use it um, where the container reservoir goes onto the bottom there's a foam seal you want to make sure that's definitely all the way seated in there like go around the circular edge of it and really make sure it's pushed in there nice and tight because I didn't have it perfectly sealed in there and the first time I went to use it because because when this is running the pressure pushes the, the paint up through the nozzle here um, there was a little bit of an air gap and what was happening is the paint was leaking on the outside and running down onto you know, out to the floor more or less. So that brings me to a third thing I learned. Always make sure you're using a drop cloth uh, and also wear clothes that you're not worried about getting dirtied up. Um, overall, I think it's a really good um, paint sprayer. Um, I like how the nozzle um, is able to be adjusted to get a desired effect. I tried to show that in the video. Uh, the first, after I did the project, I, I showed on the wood uh, just going straight across and then I did another one and then more of a circular pattern. Uh, so overall, I think it wor works really well. And um, with that in mind, the, um, the finished project I, I finished here are my, paint, are my painted frames. Um, would uh, give you a little bit of advice that if you like this channel don't forget to give the thumbs up and hit that bell notification so that way you can get up to date content at, uh, at a moment's notice once it's uploaded. Um, if you have any comments don't forget to uh, put those in the comment section below uh, to help support this channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by today and I hope you uh, um, somewhat decided whether or not this Jay-Z brain uh, paint sprayer is right for you. Take care folks. Bye bye.